Welcome back everyone and let's get started on another fun week of learning. Today we're going to be looking at lesson six, day one of our DCPS math packet. Okay, so let's look at our daily uh, warm-up. We're going to answer each question using the number 92. Use the place value chart to help. And the number 92, I don't have any hundreds. I have nine tens and I have two and I have two ones. Now, I want you to press the pause button, please. Answer the two questions at the bottom. Please press pause. If you have written that there are two ones and nine tens, then you are correct. Okay, so for our new learning today, we're going to be looking at making a pictograph or a picture graph. So we're going to create a picture graph below using the data provided in the table. So here is our table here. And it's about Central Park Zoo Animal Classifications. Use a circle to represent each animal in the chart. Then answer the questions. So in a picture graph, we need some information. We're going to need a title. We need labels. And we're going to use a picture. So the picture we're using is a circle. And our picture is going to represent the number one. So let's get started on the one that we're going to do together. Okay, so let's try this together. We're going to create a picture graph below using the data provided in the table. Use a circle to represent each animal in the graph. Then answer the question. Use the workspace to show all of your work. We've got a lot of work to do here. So what you see in yellow that I've highlighted, that is your table. You're going to take that information and you're going to make a picture graph using that information. In order to make a picture graph, we see that there are three things that we have to know. There's a title. The title is called Favorite Mammals. There are labels. You have to have labels. Tiger, panda, snow leopard, gorillas. Those are my label. You have to have a legend or a key. The key or the legend tell you what picture you're using and how much the picture is worth, whether you count by fives, tens, ones, whatever. In this one, we're using a circle as our picture and we're counting by ones. So if I look at tiger, tiger has eight. So what I'm going to do is that I am going to draw eight circles in those columns above tiger to represent that. Okay, so we have tiger and we have eight. Now we're going to look at panda. How many will we have for panda? Well, looking at our table, it tells us there are 11. How many, do, how many circles do I need for a snow leopard? Snow leopards have seven and the gorilla has 12. What I would like for you to do now is to please press pause and finish your chart. Press pause, please. So I have created and have completed our picture graph. This is what your picture graph should look like. So now let's look at our questions. So let's look at question A first. It says, how many more? Ooh, that's an important word, many more. I like to underline important words. How many more people chose gorillas as their favorite mammals than chose tiger? Well, I know 12 people like the gorillas and only eight like the tigers. So I need to tell the difference between. What would I do? Please press pause 
and figure out your answer. If you said 12 minus 8 is 4, you are correct. Now, here's a real juicy problem. This one is what I like to call a problem uh, that has two parts to it. And I like to call it my college problems. So here in this problem, it says how many more people chose tiger and gorilla as their favorite mammals than panda and snow leopard. Now, the first part I see I have to do, I see that little tiny word and, so that means I'm gonna have to add some things together. I'm gonna have to add the tiger and the gorilla together and see what my sum is. Then I'm going to have to add the panda and the snow leopard and see what my sum is. So I want you to press pause and see if you can get to the answer for the first part of part B. So since I had a lot to do in question B, I wrote question B on this side here, question B. Part one of question B, I had to add some things together. So I had to add the tiger and the gorilla together. I came up with 20. Once I add, next I had to add the panda and the snow leopard, 11 plus seven together to equal 18. But then if you remember, the first part of the question says how many more? So I take what I know about the tiger and the gorilla, and I wanna know how many more of them were liked than the snow leopard and the panda. So I gotta go to part two of this problem. So let's see, let's see if I can figure this out. You press pause and see if you can figure it out too. Well, if you said part two, number two was 20 minus 18, and that equals two, you are correct. Now let's go to the last problem. It says how many fewer people chose tiger as their favorite mammal than panda? Hmm, I wonder what I have to do here. I want you to try. Okay, press pause. Well, let's see. There were 11 um, pandas, sorry, 11 pandas, as we can see on our chart. And there were um, seven, I'm sorry, eight, eight tigers. So let's see if I have 11 here and eight, what's missing? One, two, three. Oh, so three are missing. So I could do it this way. 11 minus eight equals three. Oh, wow. Great try. Now let's go on to the next slide. Okay, everyone. I want to, you to use all that good information that we just did. And now let's try it together with our picture graphs. And I want you to do this part on your own. And I'll see you tomorrow for day two. Take care. Bye.